If you open up your task manager right now, head into performance, at the bottom you will find processes. Now you may be surprised at the high amount of processes that are currently running, but don't worry as I'm about to showcase a few different ways to reduce your process count, which overall lowers your system usage and in turn will boost your FPS in any game. So if this does help, please drop a like and subscribe for more. Alright, so to begin with, I want to talk about a popular tweak called the SVC split frame threshold which does supposedly lower your process count. What they do is they press the windows key and R at the same time. They'll then type in reg edit which will open your registry editor. They then go into the HK local machine, go into system, current control set then under control they'll look for this file right here called the SVC host split threshold in KB. What we'll do from there is we'll change this default value to match their RAM that's actually installed in their PC which will in fact decrease the amount of processes that are visible in your task manager but I'm pretty sure it does this via grouping all the processes together instead of like physically reducing the amount of processes if that makes sense. By the way if you want to find out how much RAM your PC has so you can correspond it just literally open up your task manager head into performance and then if you select memory you'll see it in the top right corner in there. As you can see mine is 64. Now I myself I did try this out earlier and then obviously did restart my PC and to be honest honest with you, I didn't sort of feel any difference at all, not even slight. Like while in game my performance was the exact same, my input delay felt the exact same. So I kind of recommend changing this default value to the RAM value on screen right here. No, not really. And I feel like changing this sort of data right here could only create issues if anything. But like I mentioned, that was my own experience. If you want to try this for yourselves, you can do. I would recommend though at the very least you do revert it to default or go back to a restore point if it doesn't like make any sort of difference whatsoever like I myself ended up doing. Moving on from that though, what will actually reduce your process count is going to the bottom right, clicking on this little start menu right here to open up your system tray and reducing as many of these apps as you can as possible. You don't want it to look mega full like this on screen. Instead, try and reduce these as much as you can. And you can do that by heading into the settings, going into apps here on the left, then clicking on the startup section. Inside here, you will find all the applications that open up when you do boot open in your PC, which can have negative effects like Windows taking longer to actually load up and even performance in general can be affected by these applications. So what we're going to do is go on to sort by I'm going to choose Startup Impact. What this does is it visibly shows what has higher impact than others. And the higher impact ones are obviously the ones we want to focus on. Now, my general rule of thumb with this is to disable any of these I don't use daily. So with most of these right here, the Epic Games Launcher, the G-Hub, I do use on a daily basis. Microsoft Edge, I do not. So I would disable that as I myself do use Chrome. Same with the Microsoft OneDrive. I get rid of that. Riot Games, I don't really play Valorant much. So I want to go ahead and disable that on startup and just scrolling down you'll find a few again microsoft bing i don't use so i want to get rid of that same with the Vanguard tray notification. The more you do scroll down, the lower the impact will be. And when it comes to low impact or no impact, honestly, they're not really worth disabling, but you can do if you really want to. But as long as you go ahead and disable the ones that you don't use on a daily basis, I myself, I like to keep Epic Games on as the convenience of it opening up when I do put up my PC is worth it in my opinion. If not, well, you can go ahead and disable it and you are all good for the startup apps. In addition to that, you can go inside of your task manager, go over to the left hand side under startup apps and do the same inside of here but it looks like you get a more like in-depth look into it. You've got the startup impact filter in here along with all of the different apps that you can disable on startup if you'd like to. So I just thought I'd mention that alternative method right there so make sure to check through these as well in addition. Next from that though you can go back in the app section and this time you want to go into installed apps where you'll obviously find all of your installed applications. Now what we're going to do inside of here is we're going to go through each application that we don't want running in the background and you used to be able to do this in literally one click in Windows 10 but for some reason in Windows 11 it's slightly different so if you just go ahead and find a useless application that you don't want or don't use that's running in the background currently like Cortana for example you just click on those three dots, click on advanced options. Where it says background apps permissions, you want to change it from the default power or always to never. And that will prevent it from running in the background. And what you can do from there is literally just find the applications you don't run in the background and disable them like so. 
There'll be a few out there, like maps for example. I myself do not use maps, so I go ahead and get rid of that. Another ideal way is to actually uninstall them, but if you don't want to uninstall them, you can just disable them in the background. And that way they're still installed on your PC, they're just not running in the background. Just make sure to click never. Moving on to disabling some useless services. To do this, just press the Windows key and R, then type in services.msc. And this right here will bring up a bunch of services that are currently running in the background increasing your overall process count. So what we're going to do is go through them and disable all of the useless ones. Like connected user experiences and telemetry, what this does is it basically sends your usage and diagnostic data to Microsoft. So if you don't want that, you can literally just right click it, go into properties and change the startup type from automatic to disabled like so. Don't forget to click apply and then OK. Another one is downloaded maps manager. If you don't use maps on your PC, you can go ahead and disable this one one like so. Same with print spooler. If you don't use a printer, you can go ahead and disable this just like that. Windows biometric service. This is for laptops that have a fingerprint scanner. So if you're like me and don't have any of that and you're literally on desktop, you can go ahead and disable it. And that will get rid of that one right there. Just below that too, you've got the Windows Insider service, which I think can give you like an early look into newer Windows versions. If you aren't registered or interested in that, you can go ahead and disable it, which I myself am I'm going to do right now. And you can literally just have a look through all of these and if you find anything useless or something you don't use, you can go ahead and disable it. However, please do your research on this. For example, a lot of people will like disable too many services like Bluetooth, for example, and later on they'll find out that they do actually use Bluetooth. And if you obviously disable the service, that will disable the functionality so it no longer works. So before you do disable any service inside of here, make sure you do know what it actually does as you don't want to get any sort of issue. A little bit of research in here does go a long way. Another final thing you guys can try is to deanimate Windows via going into the search, type in adjust, and then you'll see an option here called adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Or alternatively, you can type this inside of the run box, which is system properties performance.exe. You'll see by default it is on adjust for best appearance, but you want to switch it to adjust for best performance. And as you can see, that deselects everything, but we do want some basic functionality. So you want to take animations in the taskbar, save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging, and smooth edges of screen fonts. I think those are the best for basic functionality in my opinion. Don't forget to apply and press OK. But yeah, those are a few ways on how to lower your process count. If you know any methods, feel free to comment them below. And before you do go, feel free to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and check out any of my other videos that are on screen right now.